Okay, in this lesson, we are going to solve this interesting question. It says, given that S is equal to UT plus half AT squared, make T the subject of the equation. If we first look at this question, one would think that uh, it's a very simple and straightforward question, but it's a bit uh, tricky especially if you are new to mathematics if you are learning mathematics for the first time now to make t the subject of this equation we need to rearrange this equation to form a quadratic equation and how do we do that if s versus equal to ut plus half a t square. Now I can write this as s equal to u t plus a t square over two, and this u t is of course over one. And this is a fraction here. Yeah? To solve this fraction, of course, we look for LCM of one and two, which is two. Then two divided by one. Is two here, right? Divided by one is two. Multiply by the numerator. That is two u t plus two divided by two one. Multiply by eight t square. That is eight t square. That means this s here is equal to two u t plus eight t square all over two. Of course, this is over one. And when we cross multiply. 2ut, 2ut plus 8t squared is equal to s times 2, 2s. So rearranging this to form a quadratic equation, we we'll first of all bring this term in uh, the has t squared first, because a general form of quadratic equation is a s squared plus b x plus c equal to zero so we're going to form something that looks like this with this equation so i have a t square plus these two u t here two u t now when these two s crosses the sign of equality it become minus two s equal to zero because this is like this now this is a quadratic equation and to solve this to find the value of t in, in this equation, we use the quadratic formula, which says s equal to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So in our case here, it will be t equal to minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac all over 2a now what is a here a of course is a so a is equal to a that is the coefficient of s square is our a here so in this case it's also the same a why b is equal to 2u this 2u here 2u and c is a constant term minus 2s equal to minus 2s so when we substitute all of that into this equation here t becomes minus 2u plus or minus root 2u squared minus 4 times a times c c is minus 2s minus 2s and all over 2a okay and this will give us t is equal to minus 2u plus or minus root 2u square is 4u square 
a minus times minus is plus. Then 4 times a is 4a. 4a times 2s is 8as. 8as. All over 2a. Okay. And with that, if you look at the expression under the square root sign, there's a common factor there, which is 4. But 4 can divide here. It can also divide here. So we can factorize it out so that t becomes minus 2u plus or minus root 4 times u squared minus 2 plus rather plus 2as all over 2a. Now, this, this uh, 4 is a perfect square, so we can take the square root of 4, so that t becomes minus 2u plus or minus 2, the square root of 4. Is it 2 then? Then root u squared plus 2as all over 2. Again, 2 is common here again. These two here and these two here. So we can factorize it out again. So that t becomes 2 bracket minus u plus or minus root u squared plus 2as all over 2. I forgot to put it here over 2a. So these two can cancel these two. Our final answer therefore is t equal to minus u plus or minus u squared plus 2as all over a, which we can write as minus 1 over a times u plus or minus root u squared plus 2as. And that brings us to the final solution to this question. Very interesting one.